end step. Blue, blue. Copy the Siege Rhino. Gain three life. Deal three damage. I don't know white. Phantasmal image. Copy the Siege Rhino. Swing in for eight. Win the game? Question mark? Siege Rhinos? Pulling through? Oh, he just got Rhino. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Coming at you live through the power of your mobile phones. Make sure you subscribe if you like this kind of content. Slap that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And if you want to get notified for every single video we post on YouTube, just click that little bell. Make sure you click on the link in the description if you want to join the community and take that next step into the Carter Project, as well as make sure you will follow on Twitch, and you can actually see this stuff live ahead of time, and the link for Twitch is in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Hello, everybody. Coming at you live through the power of the mobile phones. In this video, we're actually going to do some magic. It's been pretty popular on the channel recently, so I was like, might as well indulge. So this one is called Rhinos. And one of my favorite cards in Magic is Siege Rhino. And for all of you guys that don't know, Siege Rhino, it, Siege Rhino is a four drop, one white, one black, one green, one colorless. It's a four five and it says, whenever Siege Rhino en enters the battlefield, each opponent loses three life and you gain three life. And it's a four five with trample. So I thought, let's make a just janky deck and see how we can actually do in modern gameplay, right? So the cards are right here on the side. If you want to see the whole deck list, it's right there. It's not my deck list. Um, I definitely stole it from somebody much smarter than me, but shamelessly, of course. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Slam out a Siege Rhino, copy the Siege Rhino, make more Siege Rhinos, and then blink the Siege Rhinos to continually do damage. That's the whole that's the whole game plan. And as you can see on the side, we're running uh, Noble Hierarchs, some Birds of Paradise, Eldrami's Call to get more Rhinos, Phantasmal Images to copy the Rhinos, uh, Eternal Witnesses to get back our Rhinos to replay our Rhinos, we've got Siege Rhinos to actually just play Rhinos, uh, we've got a couple of cards that blink the Rhinos, so... Alright, so no possible play, yield all. Let me bring this light a little closer. Boom. All right. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you guys subscribe if you like this kind of content. Come and uh, check us out on Twitch if you're watching this after the fact. Obviously, people on Twitch get to see everything ahead of time. And uh, let's let's play some some siege rhinos. All right. So we've got a two lander. Oof. I don't think we keep this. If we don't draw another land, we're just dead. So I think we mulligan that. This one is three lands, so we're going to keep. And we're going to send back a Eldrami's Call for now. Because we have two Eldrami's Calls. Alright, Ivan. I think that's the name. Ivan, good luck. Or what is that? Istavana the Oaks. Okay. Oh, they're playing... What are they playing? Oh, Burn or Haste, maybe? Uh, red deck wins, something like that. All right. And then I'm just going to shove my little face right down here, guys. All right. So, yeah, that's going to trigger. He's going to see the top. It was a land, so I get to draw an extra card for free. Or technically for two damage. He is taking his sweet time. Yeah, I have no blocks. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I think we do... I think we say Flooded Strands, 
pass the turn. Because then we can Phantasmal Image, um, we can copy. It's not as good in this matchup, just due to him being able to... If he's not goblins, or even if he is goblins, he has a whole bunch of spells that can target, and it's just going to make me have to sacrifice it anyways. Goblin Guide's probably one of the better goblins that they have. So he's going to go to combat. Sure. Attacking me for two. Sure. Going to reveal a card. Revealed Birds of Paradise. That's a good draw for us. We want a Bird of Paradise. Opponent thinking. Declares attacks. No blocks. Come on. Second main. Does he have another land? He's gonna... He misplayed. He should have played that before. Sneak in for another damage, but it's fine. So here's where I'm going to fetch away and get a new... Uh, I need an island and a... Probably a white source. Our opponent playing slower than molasses? Okay, uh, I'm thinking a... Hey, hey, just got a man. From court? Oh, how was court, Psycho? I think we get a hollow fountain. Pay two life from now. Uh, we play... Hmm. We play a forest past the turn. Doesn't have another land. No, he does. Okay, plays the second land. We're going to be hit for at least three. We draw Swamp. Oh, I shuffled it away. Duh. Misplay. I shuffled away the, uh, the bird. Yep, taking three. Going down to 12. Alright. Plays a goblin with pro blue. Okay, sure. End step Eldrami's call. Pick up a Rhino? Maybe? Maybe Rhino is not the right play. Eldrami's call. Get a... No, we're playing Rhinos. Get a Rhino. Play a... Play a swamp. Uh, create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Pass the turn. Next turn, we verdant catacombs into a siege rhino? That seems pretty good. Alright. Opponent, what do you got? I'll miss discard. Uh, we'll discard a... That seems bad, but we're going to discard that. I want to have double land just in case, so, and Phantasmal Image is just good. Uh, bring to light, we can bring to light next, a turn after that. Um, I think we're in a really good position. The opponent can hit us for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down to 12, but we'll gain 3, and he'll run into a Rhino. Alright, so I'm just going to hit 6. We're going to go through this turn. 
Oh, for each oh, goblet attacking, we might just be dead. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oof. Goblins coming in strong. And we'll gain three. So we could block. So next turn, if, if we're not dead, we could block you and then gain two, three, and then we would take two. Maybe we just kept two of a slow of a hand. We didn't do anything for literally three turns. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's exacties. Opponent gets to go first. Let's hopefully get a good car, a good, good hand. We have four of Birds of Paradise, and two Noble Hierarchs. So we should have. Okay, good. Yeah, this is good. We've got a turn one play, a turn two play, a turn three play, a turn four play. Um, I like this hand, as long as we don't get thought seized. Then. This hand gets to be significantly worse if they take the birds. Okay. Plays a Misty Rainforest. Passes the turn. Temple Garden. Untapped. Birds of Paradise. Resolves. Passes turn. Opponent cracks Misty. Gets a Triome. So they're on three colors. Cinderglade comes in tapped. Unholy, he kills the bird. Play a new bird. Play a Misty. Pass the turn. Renin Six. Going to kill the bird? Sure. This guy's using a lot of resources on these birds. Plays Flooded Strand. I need a blue black. No. Play a Verdant Catacombs. Pass the turn. So if we draw a land here, we can play Siege Rhino. But I think we end, st end step Eldrami's Call getting a Birds, just in case we don't get that land. And then the following turn, we can play a Rhino. Yeah, sure. We don't really have a good way of dealing with this Renin 6. Go to combat. Get a stomping ground. Cast an El. Can't cast an Eldrami's Call. Get lucky, we get a land. Pay the life. Okay, so. White, black, green, something. Play a Siege Rhino. Does he get countered? No. Resolves. All right, cracking. Okay, get something tapped. All right, what are they gonna do? If they don't kill the rhino, we can copy the rhino. If they do kill the rhino, it's not as ideal. Uh, okay. I don't know what he just did. Oh, is he gonna cast this? Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, definitely. Uh, enters number of non-land opponents. Okay, your opponents. Plays Omnath. Okay, that's pretty good. You can get a land back with Omnath, with, uh, with Ren. Get four mana. 
I filled so many papers and they will call me tomorrow, so I'm praying for it. Oof, that's rough. Yep. Let's see, are the rhinos gonna get there? Cracks the Misty. Gets a land. Gets four mana. Opponent thinking of what he wants to do. Pretty hard, apparently. Spreading seas to take me off red, which is fine. That's actually beneficial because I've got three blue cards. And it's an instant, so I can cast this at the end of turn. What else is he going to do? Let me move the chat over so it's not so much in the way. Uh, let's put it right down here. There we go. Plays Dry. Plays Valakut. Okay. He gains for life. Valakut hits me for damage. Alright. So I think we declare attacks. Attack. Ren. No blocks. Ren's killed. Pass the turn. All right. Deals three damage. Gains four life. Yep. Can Siege Rhinos get us in, keep keep us into this? He's got four cards in hand. Plays another Ren. This guy's had he's got the, the balls. Uh return one land. Yep, you're gonna tick up on Ren. Alright. Deals another three damage to me. All right, let's hope he attacks out and we kill Omnath. Let's hope that he doesn't, that he's not too smart, right? Yep. Oh, is it four damage? Well, all right. Give us a good hand. I want. I want to win with some rhinos. Hello, making chicken and Alfredo with garlic bread and bacon cookies. That sounds bomb. Um. I think we mulligan that. We gotta keep that. Put a path on bottom. So we got three lands and a rhino. The other, I think we had a mole because we just didn't have any action. All right, so 
Hmm. Watergate, watery grave tapped. Pass. Bloodfell caves tapped. Passes. Temple guard. Pass. So we've got the green and we've got the black. We need a white or a green. Okay. Whenever you cast a spell from a graveyard, it deals two damage to any target. Okay. Sure. Pass the turn. Uh. You know what? No, no. We we can do this. Misty rain. So I need a green red or green. Then we do... Ah, uh, got the wrong land. Well, that's a misplay. I definitely should have gotten a different color land. Um, I just took that without uh, necessary. It's fine. It's all fine. Opponent plays another mountain. Deal one damage to me. Don't have enough land to flash it back yet. So, target opponent loses three life. Okay. So he's playing a, like, Burning Vengeance flashback burn deck? Okay. Play an island. Black, white, Green. Play a siege right now. Gain three, they lose three. Opponent plays another Burning Vengeance, so I'm taking four damage for every single flashback that they cast. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty good, though. Plays a Dragon Skull Summit. Untapped. Passes. Alright. Um... Don't pay the two life for that. Uh, actually, no, no. It's instant. We can do that at instant speed. Attack you for four. Pass the turn. Deal two damage to any target. Targeting me. Sure. Lightning bolt. Targeting me. Sure. Sure. End step. Blue, blue. Copy the Siege Rhino. Gain three life. Deal three damage. And a white. Phantasmal image. Copy the Siege Rhino. Swing in for eight. Win the game? Question mark? Siege rhinos? 
pulling through. Oh, he just got Rhino. This isn't what I would want, so we're gonna mulligan that. This is worse. Well, we gotta keep it. Send back an island. All right. Misty past the turn. We really need to ramp into getting these rhinos out. All right, playing Dragon Rage. Sure, surveil one. Yep. What's he doing? I don't know what it is, but these red deck players, they're always super slow when they play. And they have this, the smallest mana costing spells. It's not like they're doing like crazy math. It's either threes or twos. Whatever. I digress. Combat. Crack a Misty. Get a... Overgrown too. Okay. Blooded strands past the turn. Opponent plays a mount. A monetary swift spear. Yeah. Plays a Taylor Swift spear. Got it. <coughs> prowess trigger. Gonna bolt me. Gonna surveil. Gonna prowess. Sure, sure. <coughs> a good draw would be. Goodness. Might as well crack the flooded strands. Get a temple garden. Yes. Bolt goes through. Swings for three. So we go down to 12. Yep. Gonna pay two life, get plus two, plus two. Prowess again. Alright, so I think we have to play Eternal Witness next turn just to have a blocker. So we're just not dead. Put me down to nine. Play a swamp. Eternal witness. This feels bad. <laughs> Get back a flooded. Yeah. Pass the turn. I mean, he could bolt it. It's literally a one. And then swing in for some. Um, if we survive, though, we can play a rhino. Opponent plays another dragon. Deal one damage. Oh, of course he has it. Lava darts it. Prowess. So I'm taking one, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, it's flying? Oof. We might just be dead here, folks. So say he does, three. I, I take five, I gain three, no blocks, down to four. Hmm. 
white, green, black. Play of Verdant Catacombs. Fetch the Verdant Catacombs. Get a Forest. Cast a Siege Rider. But we're, we're still dead next turn to his his two flyers. They're hating on the rhinos. Swings in for more. All right, let's see if this is better. Keep. Put a bring the light on the bottom. We finally have a turn one, turn two, turn three play. No rhinos, but we'll draw some. Windswept teeth. Crack windswept teeth. Get a godless shrine. Crap, I forgot the wrong land. Well, that's fine. Meant to get an overgrown tomb, but it's cool. Um, gets a mountain. Plays a dun 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 dun. Taylor Swift spear. Swings in for one, unless he's getting mutagenic growth fit. Just one. Draw. Path's a good draw. Um. Unfortunately, since I drew the wrong land. I can't play any cards now. I mean, I could... I should play the land. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a tapped land. Dragon Rage. Gets in for one. Down to 17. Draws an island. I mean, this feels bad, but I think we do it. <laughs> Phantasmal image. Copy the tailor. <laughs> Make him waste a bolt on it or something. Manamorphos draws a card. Sure. Surveil. Yep. Surveil's a mountain. Alright, I've got a plan. Has two red floating. Plays a tap land. Lava darts. Path to exile.
Oh, I forgot that doesn't work because if you... Exile doesn't, doesn't work. Misplays on misplays today. So if we draw a... We just messed this whole game up. We should lose this game by the amount of misplays that we've already played. Swings in for four. Take four. To play a birds past the turn. Verding catacombs. Passes. Draws another lane. Cracks the Verdant Catacombs. Gets a Mumming Rock. A Murmuring. No, Murmuring Bosk. What the heck? He'll draw me's call. Get a Rhino. Hollowed Fountain, untapped. Uh, a green, a white, the, a black. Siege Rhino. Pass the turn. Opponent plays the planes. Opponent thinking. Seven cards in hand. So, ideally, we untap, we play a land, we pass turn. Destroy target permanent. Destroys my land. Sure. Plays another land. Attack you for four. Opponent down to twelve. And the turn. Opponent plays a swamp. Damnation. Um. Hmm. We do need a. So we've got. We're gonna need a blue white probably. Oh, we got a blue black. That's fine. Resolves. So an Eternal Witness would be good here, uh, a Rhino would be good here, Eldrami's Call would be good here. Sure. Passing. Can't really do anything right here. Duress. Sure. Phantasmal image doesn't do anything because it's zero zero. Gets in for three. Down to fifteen. Flashback, but nothing else does. 
Pass the turn. We need a Rhino. Come on, deck. You're killing me. Gonna Phyrexian Arena, draw an additional card each upkeep. Pretty broken. Swings in for three. We need a Rhino. Down to 12. Uh, bring to light. That's... That'll be good enough. Alright. So if we did black, white, blue, green, search your library for a creature... For a creature, insert or sorcery with mana less than or equal to Siege Rhinos 4. Done. Bring to light. Get a rhino. Cast a rhino. Crack the fetch land. Sacrifices a creature. Sure. Gets a breeding pool. Tapped. Pass the turn. All right, we've got at least 30 rhino rhinos, so. And he's on an eight turn clock. All right, down three. Uh, I mean, that makes us survive an additional turn. I don't necessarily want that, but okay. Cast flashback, get another bird? That doesn't just, that is just not good. Opponent down to seven. Sure. blocks. Oh, I think we do it. I really don't want to. But it keeps us alive. Oh, it has trample, doesn't it? Of course it does. Why would it not have trample? We need a Siege Rhino. Pang, gosh, he's all tapped out. Oh, he's got one floating, apparently. Oof. Create a token. Nope, we're just dead. I guess we keep this. We need to draw into a Rhino. Overgrown Tomb, untapped into a Noble Hierarch. Past the turn. Opponent with a tapped temple phallus. Doesn't feel great. Swing in for one. <laughs> Cr 
Crooks. Pretty good. Discard an island. Seed Rhino. Not a Seed Rhino. Um, play a Godless Shrine. Swing in for one. Pass the turn. Our Seed Rhino is too slow. Discard two cards. Seed Rhino. That's a Rhino. Yes. Play a Rhino. Pass the turn. So if they don't kill the rhino, we'll get another rhino. Kills the rhino. Rude. Draws another rhino, hopefully. No. How much is a flashback? Seven. Swing in for one. <coughs> On the Noble Hierarch beatdown plan. <coughs> Opponent plays a 2-2 two -two morph. Sure. Rhino? Birds of Paradise. Phantasmal image. Copying the noble hierarch. Might as well. Nicobolas. Pretty good. So we really need a rhino here. Well, not a rhino. Oh, wait. Blue. Blue. Kill the Noble Hierarch. So we need a Siege Rhino and we need it now. Equip it. 5-5 five, five, Life Link Trample and that's when we concede. Right, forest, noble hierarch. Pass the turn. All right, play a windswept. Make a bird. Pass the turn. Opponent. Priest. 
sacrifice it returns our creature to graveyard to the battlefield. Sure. <laughs> Let's see. Sure. Um. That's fine. Play a right. Pass the turn. Opponent. Seems good. Puts him to the graveyard. He's getting a... Sure. Yep. Fine with that. Sacrifice bird. Discard a planes. Hmm. All right. We tap a green. A white. Aldrami's call. Phantasmal image. Crack it. Phantasmal image. Copy your archon. Get wrecked. Swing in four. Gets five because exalted. Pass the turn. Opponent. Thinking of what he wants to do. Play as an isolated job. If we untap with Archon, we win. If we play a Siege Rhino, that would also help. Alright, so opponent is playing a... A dam. Kills it. Play an island. Play a birds. So we could play another Rhino. Deal four, five, six, seven, eight. Put him to one. I think we just. I think we just do this. Copy the Rhino. Swing in. Exalted. Put him to one. Opponent. Our Rhino's gonna do it? Oh, or is he, is he a damnation? If he does... Oh, I only have four mana, so it would take two turns to, to kill him with a Rhino. Does he have the damnation? Return non-legendary card for to battlefield with a minus one, minus one counter. Sure. Okay. Sacrifice a birds. Discard Eldrami's call. But he's still... Oof. Pretty good. Um... That's pretty good. Draws a rhino. Plays a rhino. Copy 
combat. Swings in for 10. Oh, yeah, we have to... Oh, unfortunate. No blocks. Down to four. We have to ship that back because there's only a planes. Oh, that just seems bad. This is worse. Alright, I guess we keep the hand. Unfortunately. Put Eternal Witness. In the path? Play Water Grave Tap past the turn. So what do we learn so far? Rhinos are not good modern right now. No possible play at all. Gets a loyalist. Sure. You're down to 19. Untap. Play a Misty. Crack a Misty. Get a Temple Garden. Get a Bird. Pass the turn. Untap play Rhino. Could be pretty good. Sure. Deal one damage to any target if you sacrifice. Sure, you could kill the bird if you really wanted to. Swings in for three. Nope. Oh okay, yeah, just one, because something sickness. No blocks. Down to 15. White, black, play a planes. Let's do green, white, black colors. Play a rhino. Gain three. How is he going to kill a four five with a trample? That's the next question. If he doesn't kill it, we copy the rhino, get two rhinos. Rhino saves us as soon as we get them. And if we draw a rhino, we'll be in pretty good standings. Or in Eldrami's call, we can end step Eldrami's call, get a rhino. Both will work. Waiting for the opponent here. And we will get started. Alright, so we windswept. We crack it. Get a temple garden. Untap. Play a noble hierarch. Pass the turn. <coughs> Opponent with a misty. Cracks it. You gonna get a birds? Forest. Oh, a gilded goose. Sure. Um, <coughs> hmm, I think we play, 
Misty past the turn. <laughs> sure. End step, let's crack this. Alright, we've got stuff, but not what we want. Pass the turn. If we don't draw anything, we'll eternal witness back a land, I think. <clears throat> Just because we gotta be doing something. Steam vents. Untapped. Coco. Sure. Three cra cackling counterparts, but no rhinos. All right, well, I guess we play a land. Eternal Witness. <coughs> Get back a Misty. If we don't draw a rhino here, we're just dead. So... What do we draw? Phantasmal image. Counters is reckless, probably. Phantasmal image. Alright. So we want. And then we want a. Forest Island, probably. Birds. Pass the turn. <laughs> All right. Then we do. Eternal Wind. Get back a mist. <coughs> Scrying. Play a mist. Untapped. Play a Siege Rider. Swing them for two. Down to 15. Plays another Scryland. Draw a card and then put a land. Yep, okay. Field of Ruin. All right, so we tap a blue and you, blue, blue, so, okay. phantasmal image, copy the seed rhino, attacks, 
down to six. That is an island. Did we get there? Did the rhinos come in clutch? No, he's okay, he's playing something. He's got six mana, he could do quite a bit. Hmm. Flooded strand. Get a breeding pool. Birds of paradise. Pass the turn. Bajuka bog. Exile my one card. Sure. Play Marsh Flats. Birds of Paradise. Pass the turn. Simic Growth bouncing back. Bajuka Bog. Yep, sure. Alright, we need... We have green, I need white. Pay the two left. White, green. Get a rhino. He has to discard because he has eight cards in hand. Okay. Green, white, black, any color. Play a rhino. <coughs> Pass a turn. Taps two. Oh, Amulet of Vigor. Okay, sure. Yep, untap it. Tap it. Sure. Bouncing back Simic to your hand? Nope. Bouncing that back to your hand. Dryad. Okay. Yep. Seems good. Sure. All right. Um, path your dude. Get a land. Keep up my mana for another rhino. Attack with the rhino. Down to 13. Plays another one. Sure. Yep. Tap it. Untap it. Bounce the fort spec to your hand. Sure. Plays another Dryad. Seems pretty good. Vesuva probably copying Simic. Yep. Yep, untap it, tap it. Bouncing the forest back to your hand probably. Yep. And step. 
Make another Rhino. Declare attacks. With double Rhino. Down to six. Pass the turn. Prime time. Sure. Prime time. You got it. Sure. Begin combat. Claire attacks, yep. Gets two more lands. Valakut, Valakut. Down to eight. Claire's attacks. No blocks. Instance and oh, it's a sorcery. No, oh, and we're dead because I didn't read the card. gonna <coughs> play any uh magic is he gonna let us If we get thought sneezed, I'll be pissed. Nope, we're good. We're good for now. All right. Um, windswept heath into a breeding pool. 
into a bird's pastor. Maybe mill? Okay. Play a hmm. Misty Path turn. Opponent swings in for three. Yep. Down to 14. Uh, we just need a stall for a turn. Whenever a opponent casts a non artifact, so put a turn, put three, uh, six, six with artifact turn. Sure. I'll trade if you want to attack. Opponent doesn't want to, doesn't want to trade. Green, white, uh, black. Three, four. Let's get an island here. Black, green, red. Done. Get a siege rhino. Cast it. Swing in for three. Assassin's Trophy. Pretty good. Six six with trample. Down to three? That's math. Hmm. Copy. You. Pass the turn. Alright, we need a Siege Rhino. We always need a Siege Rhino. That's pretty good. Vigilance, Trample, and Undying. I gladly trade you. A Bird's of Paradise. And here we are just dead. Four Birds of Paradise and two Noble Hierarchs. Getting a turn one play is almost impossible. Birds of Paradise, go. If we're lucky, we do Flooded Strands. But Eternal Witness doesn't get us back anything. So, just Flooded Strands.
opponent playing mono blue, maybe? Oh, there's an Ink Moth Nexus. Uh, he's got to have a counter for this, but I mean, we might as well go for it, right? One, two, three, four, three, four. We get an island. And we need a black. All right, that's gonna get countered. Sure, pass the turn. We've got an eternal witness to get it back too. Seems pretty good. God, the shrine. Untap. Pass the turn. If he doesn't win with this exhaustion. I'm gonna laugh. This is this is probably like the best exhaustion you would have gotten because I tapped out. Taps a blue. Tap target permanent. Sure. And then scoops. All right. Play a Windswept past the turn. My plan is to Eldrami's Call, get a Rhino, play the Rhino, if we draw a land. Alright. Defender, Wall of Roots. Okay, sure. Opponent gonna swing in for two. Yep, okay. Sounds good. End step, let's crack all these windswept teeth. Some green light. Black, blue. Oh, I misplayed. Oh well. Um, we... Hmm. I think we just passed the turn here. <clears throat> Alright, so end of turn, I'll draw me his call, get a Rhino. Opponent down to 18, crash, uh, cracking of Verdant Catacombs, Overgrown Tune tapped. Opponent untaps. Four mana at the moment, six mana if he wants to use Wall of Roots. Opponent plays Windswept Teeth. Hmm. <clears throat> they do see double blue, so maybe they think it's a counter deck? Deals combat, do creatures put a minus one, minus one counter on that creature? Sure. Plays a spider. Combat. Declare attacks, no blocks. Damage, okay. End step, crack. Godless Shrine. A 
green and a white Eldrami's Call. Get a Rhino. Play a land. Play a Rhino. Gain three. They lose three. Pass the turn. <laughs> Alright, so if they don't kill it here, we can make even more Rhinos. They're cracking their windswept heat. So I think if they don't kill it, we can... We, we have to get a blue source. Because we need at least two blue. Which we have... Uh, we could get... So if we draw a land here, we can do double Rhino. If we just don't, we whiff. Um, then I think we Eternal Witness get back Eldrami's Call and Phantasmal Image, a Siege Rhino. I think is the plan. So opponent untaps. Three cards in hand. Um, probably removal because we haven't played anything, so that'd be bad for us. Um, if they play a big dude, I'm okay with it. I'll Phantasmal Image it. Alright, opponent just plays a land, goes to combat. If I kill Brain Mag, I gotta get the path back. Opponent probably not gonna attack. Yeah, opponent doesn't attack. We crack the Windswept Heath. We do need another blue source. We get an island. Play Misty. Alright. So we have to tap this right. If we do you, we can take Phantasmal Image copying you, and then we get an Eldrami's Call. Let's do that. Phantasmal Image. opponent waiting. If we wanted to place... Oh, no, we couldn't. The Crackling Counterpart is an instant, but we don't have double blue. Uh, actually, no, we could fetch this, get a blue. Get a blue. Um, destroy target permanent. Alright, so in this case, we fetch you. We get a hollow fountain. Pay two life. Blue, blue. Crackling counterpart. Make a rhino. Gain three, lose three. Yes. Get a pull. Uh, yep. And then that fizzles. But we still have a. Oh. And then it enters the battlefield, then we get another Rhino. <laughs> oh, Rhino's overpowered. Opponent down to eight. So, what, what did that do? It killed one Rhino. But we had double Rhino. So, if he has a damnation, but that blows up his whole board. Um, he's got a 1-4. So he could tank 4 damage there, 4 damage there. So he'd be alive for one turn. Sure. Draws a couple cards. Goes down to 5. Okay, opponent's got, going down, he's got three mana. Opponent plays, oh. Can't attack, yep, makes me sacrifice it. Sure. And I think we just win here. 
so we play Eternal Witness, get back Phantasmal Image, play a Phantasmal Image, or we could, let's, we, we have a couple options here. What does Wither do? You know what? We're gonna block it. Oh, makes, I get a minus one, minus one counter. Cool. Alright, so this is what we want to do. We want to... Black, green, green... Eternal Witness. Get back Phantasmal Image. Phantasmal Image. Copy the Siege Rhino. Hmm. Pass turn. Opponent down to three. Hmm. No. No attacks. So if opponent doesn't kill, what can they do? So if they kill one rhino. Oh, if they kill the original Rhino, then we can't Crackling Counterpart the Rhino, because we the, the Siege Rhino has to be sacrificed if we target it. The Phantasmal Image Rhino. So, I believe if he doesn't kill that 3-4, we win. Because we're just going to Siege Rhino. Game 3, lose 3. Um, let's see what opponent wants to do. Taps f a ton of mana. Plays, sure. Okay, create some one twos. Sure, that's fine. I'm not going to be attacking you for damage. I'm going to see drown you for the kill, so that's fine. We're we're okay with this. He could potentially kill this seed drino though, if he has another assassin's trophy in hand. If he does. And that means he's back in this. But if he kills the rhino that is the phantasmal image, then I win. Opponent goes to combat. No attacks. Alright. Play a bird. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so I think this is what we do. I think we attack with this right now. He's got a block. Unless he wants to just abrupt, uh, to just uh, Assassin's Trophy it. In that case, we cast Siege Rhino for the win, but I don't want him to, I try to copy it and then he, he Assassin Trophies it. That's what I'm worried about. Because he's got two men up. He, he could. I think he's really thinking about who he wants to block. It's four damage and it's trampled, so he's going to block, what, two, three... No blocks? Blocks with you. Um, sure. Hmm. We play one, two, three, four, five, six. So we don't play anything. Pass the turn. We hope he taps out for the, and we get the win.
So we could do how much? How many blue is it? Oh, it's two blue. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we also have the crackling counterpart, so we can't do it twice. Because our Birds of Paradise has summoning sickness. So. Hmm. Opponent plays a forest. Two cards in hand again. So we either want him to tap out, or we want him to yeah, play something big. Play a big dude. Uh, enchant creature can't black attack or block. Sure. Why didn't you do that on the Siege Rhino? Hmm. I don't think he has it. I don't think he has it. Because why would you put that on a bird? You would put it on a Rhino. The one that would make me sacrifice it. Opponent. Thinking about what he wants to do. Alright, so end step. Target you. Blue, blue, black. Copy the siege rhino. Opponent. Does he have it? He does it, and he scoops. Rhinos are back, baby. Don't forget to join the Discord community. The link is in the description down below. Come and join us live on Twitch and get to see the content ahead of time.